What up YouTube? We are finally back filming YouTube videos. This is the episode one of the pro series. We're doing the pro debut in 39 weeks. So we had a competition supposed to do in June. We had some things in the middle that decided not to do the competition. So now we're gonna do a competition the 24th of November. It's gonna be in Spain. Your boy's gonna be competing in Spain. So I gotta make sure I look juicy. Gotta make sure I look sexy on stage and represent Canada. Even if my last name is Lopez, still Canadian to a certain degree. So we're gonna make sure the physique is good today we're training back the most important body part for me to train because my back is my biggest weak points right now I'm really trying to thicken up my back so that's what we're going to do today and I'll run through the workouts get it Feeling good. So whenever you're trying to build your back, first things first, you gotta know what you need to build. I see a lot of clients when they send me pictures for the first time, they flex like this because they don't really know how to flex their lats. So one thing that I do with people like that, I like doing pullovers as a first exercise because pullovers is gonna build your lats and it's really gonna, just gonna isolate your lats if you do it properly. When you're doing pullovers, the most important thing that you have to do and keep in mind is shoulders down because if you put your shoulder down like this, it's gonna flex your lats. Shoulders down and just try to do a trade. I don't know if it's a word in English, parable and parable. It's not a word in English, no? So it would have been perfect for the video. So just try to push the weight down and to your side. So I'll try to do it just as an example. Push the weight down to you. The goal is to put the weight low, low, low. It's gonna flex your lat, chest up, and then you do a full rep. Stretch as much as you can. The stretch is really gonna make sure your lats are isolated. And if you pull back, you're gonna do mid back. The goal is go down and you're gonna feel your lats. If you don't feel your lats, just film yourself. You're gonna see you're doing prob probably something wrong. All right, first working set. That was a good one. I feel it into my brain right now. Woo. That's the spot. All right, second exercise. Usually I like to do a compound movements, barbell rows, usually, but right now my lower back is a little bit stiff. Didn't train for a month, a month, and when I did train, I killed myself on hyper extensions and I destroyed my back to a good degree. So now I can't really do anything with barbells or I uh, can't do rack pulls either. So what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna stay with machines for now, but I'm feeling a great contraction right now. I'm using this mag grip. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grow my mid back. So I'm really pulling to my nipples as high as I can while feeling my back contract as well. So one thing that you want to keep in mind doing an exercise like this is don't just stay straight like this. Get a full range of motion. Make sure your elbows are inward. Take your chest up, roll a little bit and roll into it. If you do that, you're going to get a back someday. I can't tell when, but someday. Well, that's what I tell myself. <clears throat> Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's the spot. All right, so what I'm really doing right now is I'm trying to get my strength a little bit higher. So I'm doing one heavy set and then I'm doing a back off set. So I'll get best of both worlds. I'll get a good amount of weight and that I can work myself up to and I'll work on contraction with my drop, my back off set. So lot, volume is pretty low, but at this point, like I'm just starting back in the gym. Took a month off. So, you know, I'm, I'm like a grandpa right now. I'm trying to get back into the into the game. So just by doing two sets, my back is sore. Every, everything is super, super sore. So I'm trying to keep things really light and and slowly during the growth season, increase the volume, increase the intensity. At some point, I'll be a We can cut that part. <laughs> cut that one. All right, third exercise. Haven't done a barbell pull down in quite a while. Did I say that? Beep. So I haven't done a cable pull down in a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it a shot. Probably been a year that I didn't do it. If it doesn't feel too right, I'll just stick to one hand because I do love one handed, but I haven't done that in quite some time and I used to love it. So we're gonna go with that. One thing that you have to keep in mind when doing a pull down, your elbow placement is very important. Wherever your elbow goes, the contraction's gonna go at. So if you put your elbow forward, you're really gonna work on your lat, your lower lat. If you put your elbow higher, you're gonna work on your upper back. So really know what 
are you trying to aim with your elbow? Lower, mid, higher. So just be mindful of that. A barbell pull down, fuck gravity. That was pretty good. So what I've seen in the past that people are doing is that they keep their lats activated the whole way. And back in the days, I used to go all the way to the top. When you do that, the tension is down on the lat. So really try to keep the tension as much as you can. So don't go extremely all the way up. Say at like 80% so you have your lats focused and you keep the tension on the muscle the entire set. Because the second you drop the tension, you're losing momentum. All right, here we go. For estimate my strength. A little bit too heavy, though that was really good. Also, use your strap every time you do a set. I was with the camera, my mind was uh, getting attacked by the machine. <laughs> I gotta put the straps on. Gotta make sure I utilize my sets. <laughs> Attach myself to the machine. I don't even think I have my straps. Never mind. These are the straps that I highly recommend because you don't have to take like two minutes to actually put the strap on. You can just whoop and you're locked in. <clears throat> Felt really, really good. So I did one heavier set and a backup set. That's pretty much the whole thing for the whole workout. I feel like I do wanna do one set of just one arm because the contraction's a little bit different and I can do a reverse grip. So I'll do that right now. And then we'll see what we're gonna do because I'm not doing any pull, rack pulls this workout because my lower back is a pussy. So we're gonna have to find a way to do the right thing. <laughs> That was amazing. One arm pull downs, probably the best exercise for lower lats, lats in general. If you don't have this in your routine, give it a shot. If you don't feel this movement, it's probably because your elbow, I mean, your uh, shoulder is a little bit uh, rotated forward. Because if you do that, you're not gonna get any back contraction. You gotta do this motion. So pull at your hip, bring it down, and you're gonna feel, just doing that, feel my lower lat just like, Give it a shot. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some higher rows. So what I really wanna do with the exercise is put my elbow a little bit higher. It's gonna end, it's gonna really work on my upper back. A little bit of ran boys and traps, and this is what I'm really trying to do. Also, every Saturday I'm doing traps only, but not traps with shrugs. I'm doing traps with my, pretty much my mid traps and lower traps, trying to really uh, make my shoulder blades go down and really try to get the contraction and without getting any arm movement. So I'm isolating my traps on Saturday and doing back only on Tuesday. So by doing that, I'm getting the lats, I'm going to getting the back thickness, I'm getting a little bit of both. So right now I do feel like my back is on a good plan for growth. I got 39 weeks to grow my whole package and I think that's enough time to do, to bring a great physique. So let's get to work. Yeah, that's a good machine. Oh, the contraction is getting better every single set. Good sign. Always got at least 15 grams of EAs every single workout. I don't think I've trained once the past three years without EAs in my shake. If you don't take EAs during your workout, you're missing out. And if you want a 10% discount on every good EAs on the market, just go at the link in the description and you'll get a nice discount. Exercise number five, what we're gonna do, one arm dumbbells. So what do you really have to do with this exercise? Get a full range in motion and pull to your hip. If you pull a little bit higher, it, it, still, it will work, but it's not really gonna work your lat. If you really wanna build your lat, pull to your hip. So make sure you put your butt out and you stretch as much as you can. Put all your attention on one leg. Stretch as much as you can, chest up, flex your lat, and really pull to your uh, hip and you're gonna feel a big, big, big contraction. If you wanna really hold one second, sure, but I would just go straight back into the contraction. Deep range. Boom, deep range, boom. I feel like my back 
It's really going to grow this year. We're just doing traps once a week on its own. It's a complete different, a complete different contraction that I'm getting. Just because I'm like a little bit sore when I do back. So every time I do a row, I feel my back actually contracting. My problem that I used to have is doing exercises and not feeling anything in my back. Now it's, I'm feeling like the tension's good. We're going in the right place. So if you have trouble feeling your back, do a little bit of traps the day before, not too much, just to actually feel the muscle. The next day you're gonna be a little bit sore. Then you're gonna know where to aim when you do rows. All right, now we're gonna do some hyper extensions. I'm not gonna do a lot of uh, sets just because my lower back is a little bit fucked right now. So I'm gonna do like two sets, 20 reps, just feel the contraction. Then I'm gonna do one last exercise of low rows. That's gonna be it for the workout. Really the thing that I'm gonna do, every time I do hyper extension is then I do a lower row at the end. The contraction is so much deeper. So at some point, once my lower back is in good shape, I wanna start my workouts with hyper extensions and then do my rows. Just thinking about that, my lower back is like, don't do it. But I know it's for the gains, so we're gonna do it. And yeah, right now one thing that is hard for me in the growth season is getting my calories in. I gotta wake up super early and I'm going to bed extremely late, just trying to get my meals in, just because my, I have no hunger. So I'm always constantly digesting. I feel like, like I'm holding my stomach. This is, this is normal strength. So I gotta make sure everything is nice inside. In the amount of calories I'm eating right now, but it's worth it. We've got 39 more weeks of all this project and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do. So get to work. It's like the high blood pressure exercise right there. Holy shit, I felt it. What you wanna do on hyper extensions, don't go heavy, because if you tax your lower back too much and then you do legs, which is gonna tax your lower back even more, you're gonna slow down growth because at some point you're gonna get hurt and injured. So what I would highly suggest that you do is don't overdo this exercise, just be smart with it because it's a two-edged sword. It's gonna make your physique look great for men's physique. But if you do it too much, you're gonna get injured. If you can't train, it's the worst thing you can do. So be smart about it. Don't be like me, be smart. All right, boys, last exercise of this beautiful back day. Gonna do some rows just at the end, just because after I do uh, hyper extensions, I do feel a better contraction when I do a little bit of rows just at the end. I wanted to do a machine, but it's taken, but this right now feels amazing. So I'm just gonna kill my back, give everything that I have, because the contraction is still really good. And with the amount of food that I'm eating, can do a little bit more volume. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna finish the workout. I felt amazing. I just got one more set, then I'm completely dead. Come on. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Got no more energy for this back workout. Did all the exercise that I wanted to do. Next time that I will do a back workout, I will have barbell rows, probably some rack pulls as well, because I do like this exercise. This back workout is if you have a little bit of a lower back pain problem. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video. We're 39 weeks out till the pro debut, so we got a lot of work to do. Thank you guys for tagging along the journey. Peace. <laughs>